man what's good youtube welcome back to another video and as y'all can see in today's title thumbnail bro i got a new whip man let's go man if y'all do not know i really am not too big on mustangs bro i don't like mustangs at all for years it has it, for years it has not been my personal preference of vehicular system bro i'm not gonna lie bro i'm not fucking with no type of mustang bro but i said the same thing about bmws and i'm about to get a bmw so I think 2024 is a year of me stepping out of my comfort zone, you know, stepping out of my uh, my niggerery because I'm definitely have a lot of niggerery going on. I've had a bunch of Hellcats and I had scat packs and SRTs and all type of crazy stuff, bro. Y'all do not know, I bought an 89 Cadillac Brougham and now I got an 89 Ford Mustang. So they both 89. I must like this number 89 a lot because I got a lot of them. 89, that number just follows me around a lot. I don't know why. It is actually my uncle's Mustang and I bought it, I bought it from him. He was like, I don't know, she just been sitting here like, you can get it, I don't care. We made some shake, bro. And now I got a Ford Mustang GT, god damn it. And I actually don't know what type of build I want to do because I was looking at builds last night. And my thing is like, I don't know what type of build I want to do. Cause they got like, let me turn that down. They got like drag builds, of course. That's like the number one drag car. I seen builds where it's just like OEM clean as hell, and like chrome wheels. I've seen some with like 24s on it. That ain't really my style. I'm not on no CJ on 32s type shit. But I think I like just the original look of it more than like the drag look or anything like that. If y'all do not know. My dad has one, he has a 93, and that bitch run eights. So, I'm not even gonna get into the drag racing scene. Yeah, bro, so I'm about to go take a look at it now. I also have to get some things out of my Cadillac. So it's a two birds and one stone. Like I said, if y'all did watch my last video on this channel, y'all might have already seen the car. Y'all probably didn't pay no, no, ooh, 12 right there, 12 right there, 12 right there. Y'all probably didn't pay no attention to it, because, I mean, it just was, it was, I don't know. Y'all probably just didn't pay no attention to it, to be honest. But, yes, man. We are finna go check out the Lamborghini. Look at 12 right there. <laughs> but, yes, man. We are finna go check out the Mustang. And I will catch y'all, boys. We get closer to our destination. Oh, this nigga pulling out. That nigga pulling out. What the fuck? But like I was saying before, I was really interrupted, man. What do y'all think? Which type of build approach should I take on my Fox body, bro? Like, do y'all think I should go drag car? Do y'all think I should go like like factory type look with some like some nice chrome rims? Do y'all think I should go f full black person? And got them with the big Borgiatos on it. Like, I'm not really into all that, to be honest. Now, I was gonna do that with my old school, but not nothing fast. That makes sense. I got a couple other bills on the way. I said I was gonna uh, get tapped in with and things of that nature, bro. I'm trying to expand my reach, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to be just the one nigga known for Mopars, like, bro. Every black person got a Hellcat or a Scat Pack now, like. It's, uh, it's oversaturated, I'm not gonna lie. Not really feeling it no more, but it is what it is. We plan on doing shit to the Lambo as well, give it some time, you know. Still got shit going on. But I think we'll be straight, though. No lie, I think we'll be straight. Alright y'all, so last time I was here, I ain't gonna lie. We buried this motherfucker. 
We buried the fuck out that damn car and truck. Damn. It is what it is. But man, this right here, this obviously is the 89. What the fuck? Damn. All right. Anyway, man, this right here is my old school. Bro, why the fuck I can't get my keys in my pocket, bro? So this right here is obviously my 89 Cadillac. And this right here is my brand new 89 Mustang. They both 89. Oh. I got so much. I don't want to say it on camera, but I got a lot of shit in here. Oh, what the fuck? Y'all, the ground is still wet. Bro, look at my wheel. No, look at the wheel, bro. Nah, that is crazy. I'm about to pop the hood on this guy. Hold on. This old school shit, man. Hold on now. It's that one. Nigga, it was not that one before. Alright. Damn. Damn. Oh my god. Yeah, I said I killed my transmission. Towing it here. Do y'all really think I did that, bro? Be honest, bro. I ain't gonna cap. My transmission was already fucked, bro. That shit would not back up for nothing. Whoa. I ain't gonna cap, bro. What the fuck is this, bro? I can see the wheel, bro. That is wild as fuck. My battery. Y'all said I should have charged the battery. I should have. I ain't gonna lie. In y'all defense, bro, I should have put a new battery in it. It probably would have cranked up. I'm sorry. But anyway, man, we ain't here for this. We here for this Mustang. I ain't gonna lie. This guy needs a fucking... Bro. Bro. What the fuck? I thought it was open. Hey, well, I guess this bitch ain't open. So, I guess it's not open. I don't know where the fuck the key at. I'm gonna have to ask my uncle. I'm a dad. But let's take a look at this damn motor. the fuck they got going on come on bitch come on bitch god damn dirty motherfucker you what the fuck is going on i see the dogs over there too Y'all shut up. Anyway, man, we finna... That sounded horrible. Put the stick up. I mean, stick up. Boom! I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. I mean, I guess this is a... Is this a stock 5 motor? Is this the normal motor? Yeah. Powered by Ford, baby. Battery. Not bad. I don't know why the five O's look like that though. It looked like a, like what the fuck is that? It should like a damn waffle maker. This the air intake. What the? Fuck? Imagine putting that on a Hellcat. That shit ain't gonna want at all. What the fuck, man? This shit kind of hard, though. I don't know what all these are. I feel like somebody gonna call me stupid for not knowing. What are those for the spark plugs? There's eight of them. There's eight of them. There's eight of them, guys. 
This would definitely be a project car for sure. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to put those back in. Those uh, lights at the bottom. I'm probably gonna switch those out. To be honest, and honestly, if you want to be honest, honest twin, I'ma probably just swap the whole motor out this bitch. I'll probably fuck around, put a like a coyote five on there. <laughs> Why do cars come with this, bro? Why do old school cars come with shit like this, bro? I got a mean dent right here. Buff that out. I do got the sunroof. That's nice. Paint. It's just a hatchback. Can y'all... Bro, them dogs, bro. I swear to God. Pity patter. Let's get at her. All right. I like the LX bumper a lot more. Because you can see the pipes. I probably will switch it out to LX pipe. A LX bumper. I probably would switch it out to LX bumper. These wheels, not a big fan of them, but they can get worked upon. Got, got a little bit of damage going on here. That looks don't look too major, honestly. This car is nice as fuck. Do y'all think I do y'all are y'all satisfied with my purchase? Let me know in the comments below. I have to get the key. I don't have the key. But that's what the inside looks like. So I'm trying to get the best angle that I can. Seats don't look too messed up. It used to be red, it's red seats in the back and then it's like brown seats in the front. So I'm kind of checking out like what the fuck going on? His tail lights back there. Irritates the big ass RPM gauge right there. And it is stick shift. Should I keep it stick shift or should I make it auto? Let me know in the conversation down below. I actually want I want to keep it stick shift, but I feel like I won't be able to get the content. That I want to get. If I leave it stick shift, who the fuck going to hold the camera while I am driving? She just wouldn't be valid, twin. Them dogs are pissing me off. I'm not gonna lie. But y'all, because we in the country. We definitely, those are definitely hunting dogs. They might have found them like a deer or a possum or something. They trying, to, they trying to let the people know what the hell going on. Like, hey, we got an animal over here type shit. But I don't know where the hell they people's at, so. Cool, cool, cool. No, I'm satisfied with this. I fuck with this. This is hard. Damn. What the fuck? Y'all, look. This is when the truck got stuck. I think I can step on it. Doing something stupid. Oh, shit. This is why, this is why I never wear my Travis Scott's, bro. I always do some stupid shit, bro. Damn. Yeah, that's how, that's how the sides are supposed to look. On the other side, that shit is dangling a little bit. And the doors, what's up with these, bro? These got to come off. I'm taking them off for sure. And whatever the fuck is supposed to go right here. Like, what? I guess it's called a, a project car for a reason. To my knowledge, it's been sitting here for like, I don't know how, I honestly can't tell you how long it's been sitting here. My guess would be like two years, maybe. Two, three years. It hasn't started in two, three years. This video will get to, I don't know, a thousand likes. We'll go crank it up and see if we can drive it. What? Look at these animal prints on here, bro. That's definitely a cat, bro. That's definitely a cat print, bro. 89 Mustang, GT Mustang, bro. Yeah, so I think somebody did me and asked me about this truck. I don't remember if they did or not. I remember hearing something about this damn truck, though. So basically, this is like a 2006 F-150 Harley-Davidson edition. This is my dad's truck. Uh, it's been sitting here for a while because, well, if y'all know anything about Fords, the 5.7 that came in these trucks, are basically dog shit. So, the engine blew. 
at maybe like 130,000 miles. So anyway, it's just been sitting here ever since. Yes, we do have plans on getting this car back on the road. This truck. We have plans on getting this truck back on the road. I'm not gonna lie. If y'all wanna see me us work on this, let us know. And we'll work on this too. This truck got like very like it's very sentimental to us because I don't want to get any detail. If my dad wanted want to tell y'all, he'll tell y'all. But this truck right here means a whole lot to me and him. And it's just been sitting here. And by the end of the year, we're going to get this bitch on the road for sure. I'm not hearing it. We're getting this motherfucker on the road for sure. So stay tuned for that. If y'all want to see the F-150 get back to sucking titties, then we'll do so. But yeah. The only thing I just wish, I wish it was like a full cab. This truck hasn't ran in like, I feel like it's been damn near 10 years, bro. No, it ain't been 10 years because we've had it longer than that. It's been like five years, bro. This truck hasn't moved in like five years. But that's okay because like I said, by the end of this year, this bitch will be on the damn road. If y'all want to see it. If y'all don't want to see it, then we'll take our time, boy. If y'all want to see Comment, comment, goddamn F-150 in the conversation if y'all want to see us work on this as well. But in the meantime, my two projects are right here and right here. I don't know which one I'll work with first. That that might need a battery, and I know for a fact I'm gonna put an LS5 in there. I mean, I'm I said LS5. I'm gonna put an LS motor in there for sure. Uh, I don't know if I want to go 6.0, 6.2, or 5.3. Let me know in the comment section. I do want a twin turbo, whatever LS I get. I want this to be crazy. I'm definitely gonna get like a like a cheap ass LS and twin turbo it. And then this right here, I ain't gonna cap. I want to put a 50 Coyote motor in here. I want to put a Coyote motor in here. That shit would be tough as hell. But I don't know if I want it to be stick shift or I want it to be auto. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I don't have a stick shift, so a stick shift would be tough. I'm not going to cap, but. I don't even think I know how to drive a stick, which is crazy, bro. I definitely know how to drive a stick shirt, bro. But, uh, yeah. Let me know in the comment section down below if y'all want to see. Because right now, all these cars don't run. <laughs> all these cars do not run. So let me know if y'all want these motherfuckers to hit the road once more and come out of their graves. This one held up a lot, though. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. If y'all watched my last vid, this big bitch was Yo, I ain't gonna cap. This big bitch was manhandling that 250, but we talking about a damn 2022 Ford F250, but we talking about a what two two and a half ton truck. This motherfucker was wiggling and manhandling that bitch. I'm like, damn, God, <laughs> calm down. Big Lucy, do not play. Big fucking Lucy. <sighs> there we go. All right, now. What should I name this? That's Lucy. I got Sonic over there. Hermes, Green Goblin, Eagle. I've named every single car I've had. Reaper, Vader, shit like that. Menace. What the hell should I name this? I'm going to come up with some names. But I want y'all to give me some names too. Because I don't know, bro. I feel like I want to name that bitch Terminator. But it already they already got a trim called Terminator. So everybody must say it's probably called Terminator. That shit ain't special. But yeah, I want to name it something. It's definitely gonna need a name for sure. Yo, what kind of gas going here? Hold on. This is an 89. Let me see. Do these cars take 87? Unleaded fuel only. Alright. I finna goddamn hit the road. Uh probably pull up on my cousin or something. I don't know if this is the end of my vlog, but stay tuned. I don't think I'm gonna end it just yet. I might end it off. With a little Lamborghini pull or something like that. Because, you know, I do got my Lambo over there. But I do have to get shit out of my car, so. Oh, my fucking gosh. I have a Lamborghini in the damn woods. Oh, my God. What's up, nigga? Oh, my God. This thing is filthy, y'all. Look at this, bro. This thing is filthy. All right, y'all, so I got a question, right? I was just driving, chilling, cruising, and I looked over into the neighborhood past some woods, and 
I seen a Marauder. Yeah, should I get a Marauder? What the fuck? I always like Marauders. My dad had one. My pops had one for a little amount of time. And uh, it was kind of sweet. I ain't gonna lie. I think it was my uncle's. I think he still got it. I don't know. Should I get a Marauder, y'all? Let me know in the comment section, bro. If y'all want to see a Marauder on the channel, bro. Hey, you gonna cap, bro. I like four door. That's what I like, bro. I like four door V8s, bro. That's definitely a four door V8. Like, that shit is so hard. I put a supercharger on that bitch. Oh my god. Shit was going crazy. Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know.